nice. So he can go and give his son to us. But he says that she, though it's nice, but she's more beautiful than him. So art here means you are in the English language. So we're trying to compare you, see you, you to a someone's day. So art, that means you are more lovely and more pretty. I can tell you with something like a summer day in England, but still you are more lovely and more or much better than a summer day. Why? Because sometimes in some uh, weather is not so fun. Rough winds can change the garden, but the snake. That rough winds is harsh. Cannot be so as the wolf. Sometimes they are uh, rough. Shake the garden, the garden, but the snake will shake the, uh, the flowers in a harsh way, with a nice way. See the Pope asks whether he could compare his beloved to a summer day or a day in summer. He declared that she is lovelier and more tender. In rule number three, and someone's new class Here they want to be wants to say that summer day is for a good time. So uh, even the weather is good uh, at summer, but it doesn't stay too long. So it's not too short in England. So they go for longer summer, but it's short. So and someone's day has all Sometimes too hot, the eye has no shine. It's so soft. The weather is in summer, it's nice most of the time. But sometimes it's too hot. And said so the eye will have no shine. We said about the, the, the sun as if it's an eye shining, so hot. So it's about a bad sun. It's not so day in summer. And open is a good complexion then. Here it's talking about um, complexion means like skin. So he talks about like a person, like a human being. Complexion then is really not so bright. So sometimes usually is usually good, but sometimes it's too bad. Sometimes it's not bright so much. So even I compare to the neighborhood uh, lover uh, to a summer day, that means uh, you're still much, much better than okay. um, And every third from third sometimes decline. By chance or nature's changing course until. Here it's like uh, words to be remembered. Uh, Every fair compared, every beautiful thing in life. Nothing stays beautiful forever. No, even beautiful things, uh, they don't stay like that. So pretty generally never stay all the time. Why? By chance, something can happen to change this pretty thing. Could be less or nature changing, changing course. So the change of nature, time. Um, Accidents, uh, many incidents can sh change uh, pretty to ugliness, change uh, the idea of fair, idea of beauty to something not beautiful. Okay? So nothing in life stays as it is all the time. But hey, or he, it is summer shall not stay. Now we can speak of the eternal summer, your eternal summer. He means your eternal summer means you summer is something good, something beautiful. So summer is eternal. You will never change. You will never lose the same beautiful summer. You will never lose your beauty. And all will stay beautiful forever. It is telling her that. So your eternal summer shall not fade, shall not go, shall change, will stay pretty forever. No more procession of that fair person. So never lose being beautiful. You will be beautiful forever for the rest of your life. When you turn money, you will turn the growth. Now we start 
between the new shell bed and the new one in the shell. So he said here, you even that can never change your beauty. So nothing will change your beauty, even that. Uh, okay. Exaggeration, so change everything. So no, nothing stays as it is after that. Nothing stays at all after that. But it's kind of an acceptable exaggeration uh, for the sake of love. Well, it will not time to close. Why? Because you always stay in my eternal mind, in my eternal form. So you are in my form and about, um, about our loves and lives in the pool, so our love will be important. Why? Your beauty will be important. Why? You stay alive in my life. So, I'm sticking to that. He says that as long as I write about you, you will stay beautiful forever. Okay, now he's thinking about his ability, his skills as writer. Okay, he's a very famous writer. And uh, uh, words will stay forever, so you will stay forever with my words, we inside my mind. So long as we can hear, your eyes can see, so forever. As long as there are people in the people can see, you will stay um, uh, in my mind. Minds will stay beautiful. So long as this and this gives life to peace, gives life to you. So what gives life to you? His lover, according to his uh, words, according to his opinion, and uh, he wrote about it. So, you know, I wrote about you, I wrote about his beauty, you will stay forever alive, you will stay forever beautiful because of his beauty. Again, you will stay beautiful. Okay, that's uh, This is the paraphrase, this is the meaning. The main theme, of course, is love. And of course, the other thing is Winston himself, the writer Winston himself, uh, bragging himself, being proud of himself, to be himself. Because he's really famous and really, uh, his words are written. Okay, that's um, be the paraphrase. In times one and two, he asks whether he could compare his philosophy to a day in summer. He declared that she is lovelier and more. Her in the first place was much better than a uh, day in summer. In lines three and four, five, six, uh, he then listed the things that he doesn't like about summer's day. So then he started to say summer is good, but there are some bad things about it. He said that it's too short, summer's leaves have all He said it is sometimes hot, too hot. He said it has sometimes. Uh, uh, his complexion is vivid, not bright. So he said that things bad at summer. Uh, then he listed the things that he doesn't like about summer day, even in May. Strong winds, sometimes the blue, shaking the small fragile buds. Summer doesn't last long. Sometimes the sun makes the weather too hot, and sometimes the sky is cloudy. So now he said bad things about summer. Of course, these things are not in his book, lover, because he is absolute and his opinion. In lines seven and eight, by chance, uh, in lines seven and eight, he says, and if he says, compare sometimes it lines by chance or nature's changing course to change. So, what's here? Here, the poet says, that every beautiful creature will at some point cease to be beautiful. Cease means to stop. So uh, the, the most beautiful creature all in, in the world, in, in life, on earth, they cease to be beautiful. They stop to be beautiful. So beauty is something, is not an eternal thing. So it's, uh, it's temporary. Why things lose its beauty? Run through some accident because it is natural for all it takes to be in and on. In lines 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, uh, but he, he's talking about her. But he, you eternal summer shall be saved, no lose possession of the very new oath of the beauty that you own. Uh, 
المنشن ذس بلاد يو ستيل واندرز ان ذا شيد يو ويل تيل لون فاين ذا روز هير هي سيد ذات هي لوف لوف سمر اون ذا كونتري ويل لاست فور ايفر شي ويل نيفر لوز هير بيوتي اند ذات ويل نيفر بي ايبل تو سي ذات هي بي سبيسيفيك So even that will never change her, can never test her. Nothing can change her. The idea of being beautiful. In all fourteen and fourteen, the last two lines he said, as long as men can read it, I can see. So long lives this and this gives life to three. The people said that his beloved will in fact live in the lines of verse that he cannot that cannot die. As long as men live and as long as they read poetry. The poet's verse will live, and his beloved will uh, live too. Okay, so the rhyme skin. The internet uh, went out, but now he knows. The figures of speech. Okay, we have repetition. Teacher to create, we said that the idea of repetition to create is to internal musical pattern. So, to create internal musical pattern between the lines, we use repetition. By the word more lovely and more sexy. So, more rapidly. To repeat the same words twice in one line. Again, uh, as we say, for fair, the words fair in line seven and ten. Um, we say, and every fair from fair sometimes declines. Fair from fair. So, this is a repetition for the word fair. Again, the repetition for the whole word twice in one line. This is a repetition for the use of the language so long in the final bottom. Uh, here we have so long. Oh, we have couplet. Couplet means that the uh, last two lines in the uh, sonnet, in the sonnet, we have lost two lines. They start the same way. So long as many, so long lives this. Uh, like one after another, so we together made the idea of repetition. So, so, again, uh, last two lines or the final uh, topic. Okay, we also have a notice like four. Okay, we have a nice slide for some lines and some of We have all the Okay, some of the first. So they talk about summer as if it's something uh, uh, stay for a short time and you let us know. Life of the fire, the sun is likely to be a cattle on the life of the fire. Sun is likely to be a life of heaven. He said about the sun, it's a heaven. Sun is the idea of I heaven. Sometimes the I is heaven shines. Uh, line number nine. Uh, the poet compares the beauty of his love with the sun. So, line nine. Why the eternal, why the eternal summer shall not fade, but the eternal summer shall not fade. So, here's the poet compares the beauty of the love with the summer. Or your eternal sun. So he compared his beauty with summer. So this is a metaphor also. So he compared beauty with summer, so the sun is on the heaven, so this is all all. We have also questions for so my time. Sometimes how to do our heaven shot. Okay, we have an expression with one as a human being, we can't see. 
Yes, the oil is the word of all oil that you talk about the sun and its basic. So, the whole world of oil is the basic. So, the metal is the oil. This is the and the open is the the process of the 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 skin complexion is our skin. So we as the complexion. So the process of the complexion. Point 11. No shell death. Shell, no shell death. Red, two, one, two, three, two. Okay, one, eleven. That is the same as the flower. So, then, uh, can take some. Uh, it has the force to take us. The powerful person has the power, has the people, whatever it wants, wherever. Okay, the uh, 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 line one or two the image of someone is the uh, line of image of the okay, you know, we, uh, we have contrast in the lines, in the meaning of the lines. Because we said the light is the lover, that she is more lovely and more complete, she has eternal beauty. And so compare that to someone who is too with it. We should stay for a short time. With its uh, winds uh, sometimes or uh, harsh or not kind, lost. So it's a picture, a picture for his lover uh, with eternal beauty that nothing alive, and with someone that when it's not uh, good enough, so it's not, so it's not nice enough. The line for the image of for someone with the everlasting memory of his beloved, in line number four, and some of we have all too short a day. Okay, so here, uh, summer, uh, as we don't stay for a uh, long time, is mentioned that we have. Okay, we have alliterations. In line seven, in line seven, uh, we have the concept of F. And my second starts with and as we fail to compare sometimes the plot. Okay, explanation from the boys gives me a post to internal lines. Uh, and line seven is the first line, consonant sound, but is repeated three times. Fair from fair. We have three F's or three sub sounds. So here is the consonant is repeated three times. Uh, because that's the most beautiful music and attract our um, hearing and makes you uh, attractive to listen. Uh, also, in my twelve, we have the consonant T. Again, we have the consonant T. So, again, we are uh, making music. We have to me. Hopefully, the goal cool is based on an extent I could do. I could be exaggeration. So, a whole piece of uh, exaggerated off because she uh, is not her lover and has not an eternal beauty. Uh, of course, she will die and I can take her. Of course, her beauty will change by time. Uh, nothing of the tone said is correct actually, but it's a kind of hypocrisy and it's acceptable in uh, poetry and poems, especially love and poems. It's kind of expressing, uh, expressing that. Okay. I think this can be everything related to our um, uh, summit today. Uh, here, just to consider the speech and examples for education, uh, sound devices and uh, uh, examples for uh, life repetitions, elevations.
Okay, here we are about almost about to finish the uh, one. This one is complete at the end two. So this one page one thing left. Tomorrow is the uh, session. Class is about to be two together. Others finish. So, to the fun or about finish. So, then you have your books. We will start. Start our lesson. What time we should have today? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, page eight, the last thing to be done. Page eight. Page eight, we have exercise, uh, skills, memories, vocabulary. We mentioned the importance of the vocabulary uh, as it is called the children, so it is tested, it is imitated, and so on. And we mentioned them. And then you have another important word actually is the size and two. If the size two, we have a box in uh, total vocab, actually, like the word tall, evocative, uh, evocative uh, inside, ingrained, picture, recall, recollection, uh, reminiscent, and uh, traumatic. Okay. Number one, let's go answer the question and it depends uh, in the sentence. Okay, as on what the traffic stop when? So this is the kind of the dialogue and we catch the words mentioned. Let's do them here. As on what the traffic stop when? So as on, they stop to talk about the problem. So as on remember, it can be the word remember. It can also be the word with the same meaning. As I remember the travel for this one. So I can say as on recall. So recall is a similar for the word remember. With what word? I suppose it was. With hands on, I suppose it was. Uh, number three, I found the whole thing quite dramatic. Okay, dramatic when you talk about something dramatic that means brings to you bad memories. So it's dramatic, okay, important word. We stop on the only important word. I can spin a what it clearly. I can spin. So if you remember something very well, as if you can see it. So you can say, oh, I can fill picture it clearly. Until it becomes completely in my memory. So if you remember something so much, and it's like to be deep, so deep, means to be in deep, deep place. Okay, so in deep. I can't call to mind any disappointment. I can't call to mind. Remember again any disappointment? So I'm not disappointed. Um, uh, I can't point to my any disappointment. So here means I can't remember any kind of disappointment. I still have a fear of that smile. Okay, so if you remember the smile of a person so much, so that means. Uh, a clear recollection. So, clear recollection. 
of that smile. Uh, it would be fun to reminisce inside, uh, in the noise about the good old days. And I uh, remember or to keep in your memory. Okay. The last thing to be done is uh, remember who we have or have really to think about the music group. But now this is what to remember uh, more things about striping and dance. Talk about this now, but can be a bit remember together uh, how to describe an event. Of course, we will take this in the case later. Uh, so let's start talking about this part in the end event. It's in page 10. Here we have read, read the description of an event and answer the question. Okay, here is the picture, and here is the slide. Um, uh, uh, under the picture, there's someone talking about this event and describing it and asking questions about it. Question three What event did the author go to? At what age? So, what was the event? How did it work? Was he? Question number two How did he feel about the performance? What effect did it have on him? So, what effect was the uh, event? How the event affected him? Uh, what was his age at the time? We know all the answers from the um, text or from the um, essay. It's like a kind of description. How important was the experience for him and why? So, feeling is important for him. Why? We know that through the decade, he could decide an event uh, he attended in the past and he is telling us uh, uh, about it. Okay, let's have the, the paragraphs, how many paragraphs, what inside, or what each paragraph. Uh, Includes. So let's go through this together. At the start, from the start, then later we will take the other page and write about it. Okay, here the title is the other page 10. 10 in my page 10. My first step to the field. So uh, to title, we move that to go to our script, to the theater, we watch the play. Uh, uh, and the writer says, I first went to a live theater performance when I was 10 years old. So we have the answer. My aunt and uncle got tickets for a famous London production and they invited me. The house that by Agatha Christie is the longest running show worldwide today. Although at 10, I wanted to know this. I had heard of Agatha Christie, though, as she's one of the most famous history writers in Britain. She is the word. I was a great. What's included in the third one uh, to describe the event? It's included here the place where did he go, which is number one. When he went to that place, uh, the event, what age, who invited him, and who was the person who got the idea from the beginning, what was the uh, event, what was the play, the name of the play, the name of the writer, I guess it was key. And uh, he just mentioned nothing about the edition, nothing about the play. He just said it's called uh, Mouse Club, this is the name of the play, by I guess it was key. So, but at this point, you mentioned the writer and the name of the play. And he said one word of one thing. So he summarized all his feelings in one word, give his feelings as well as many answers to describe the event. Of course, at the beginning, he said one word to a third place. I was So then now, we don't know what happened. He just went to play, which is by the tickets by his uncle and aunt. Uh, the play is for Agatha Christie called uh, uh, Mouse Trap. Paragraph one, no details again, as usual in the essays. We don't mention any details in the first paragraph, just introduction, names, time, and so on. 
magic tool. I remember the buzz of excitement inside the theater as we all found our seats. After a while, the lights went down and everybody became quiet. I could barely make out the stage. We waited. Uh, finally, the curtain lifted. But the stage was still as dark as night. We could only hear voices. Then, in the darkness, a murder was committed, and everyone gasped. My heart was beating like a and I was completely captivated from uh, then on. So, now he started to tell us some of the events of the um, uh, play. What's happening? It was dark, and they kind of murder committed, and of course, he was so excited. And now he's telling us that he was captured, that he was uh, uh, took completely into the film. Many adjectives used to refer that more next time, inshallah. This is uh, for our uh, lesson today. Next time, first thing to do is to complete describing the event.